Hi guys, it's Nerdyak here again and uh, this video links up with my previous video where I showed how to create a custom start menu icon for yourself using a picture and in this guide I'm going to show you how to make that picture uh, using free software so let's just cut down to the chase uh, we're going to go online for this because we are going to use an online editor called Pixlr so you can just search for Pixlr and we are going to use the Pixlr editor Right, from there on it opens up this uh, screen for you and we are going to select or open the images from the computer that we are going to use for editing. Alright, um, I'm going to use the awesome smileys again and uh, I'm going to pick some different ones this time. Let's pick the crazy one, let's pick the awesome one as well and then maybe this one here. So we're going to open them up. Alright, okay now that's good. So they are all different sizes and some are transparent, others are not, different colors. Um, so this is a good one to practice on. Um, generally you want to have pictures that are more or less the same shape um, otherwise when you scale them they don't look too weird or too skew um, but we'll get to that right now. So there's basically three things that we're going to do in order to create this picture. The first thing is we're going to make them all transparent. We're going to make the backgrounds transparent so that we don't have a big white uh, square on our start menu button. Alright, the second thing we're going to do is we're going to scale them, scale them to the smallest image that we have. So we're going to scale down and not scale up, otherwise we're going to lose quality. And then the third thing is we're just going to combine all of them. So let's do that. So in order to get them transparent, you are going to use this magic wand tool. You click on it and you select the areas outside of your picture that you want to remove, that you want to make transparent. You can hold in shift while clicking different spaces. Alright, so now we've selected the spaces that we want out. But um, we don't actually want to select the spaces, we want to select the thing that we're going to keep. So we click on edit, invert selection, and with your keyboard you press Control C to copy it. And then we go to file, new image, create image from clipboard, which is the one you just copied and then tick the transparent box and it should pop out a new one there we go with a transparent background easy as pie we can uh, exit the one that we're not going to use anymore and we just do the same one for the last picture that we have so we select the picture by clicking our mouse on it and then click the white spaces holding shift right edit invert selection copy file new image Create from clipboard and transparent. There we go. And we can exit that one. We're not going to use it. Do you want to close? Uh, yes, of course. Wait, what is it doing? Close. No, I don't want to save. There we go. So now we have three of them. Alright, we're going to scale them down right now uh, to the smallest one. So we see its dimension here is 125 by 125, which is the width times the height or the length of it. Um, so how are we going to do it? We're going to select the first image that we want to scale down and we click on image, image size and we're going to select it to be 125. Um, if you have an image which are you know, different dimensions that are not equal to each other um, then change the height option and not the width option but uh, keep constraint proportions on. Click or OK and it scales down. We do the same with this one. Image, image size we're going to change the height to 125 and it picks up the other one automatically. Click OK and now they're good. They all scale down. So we want to um, combine them now, which is our third uh, step for this uh, tutorial. And we're going to do that by clicking on File, New Image. All right. And now we need to multiply the heights. So we're going to keep the width the same and the height we're now going to change to what is 125 times 3? It is 375. 375. You can put them in. And important, you have to click transparent. So we have a transparent image that we're working with. And there we go. Right. Let's incorporate the first image. So the first image, um, which is on top, the top, middle, and bottom images are going to be. Um, they're going to have different functions. So the top image is the one that's going to be static. It's the one you're going to see on your icon right here. 
the middle one is the one that you're going to see when you hover your mouse over it and then the third one at the bottom is the one that you're going to see when you click on it right so let's decide to keep this uh, awesome smiley face as our first one the static image what we do is we click on it we press ctrl a to select everything and we press ctrl c to copy it we click on our untitled image and press ctrl v to paste then we use this uh, select tool marine tool right make sure that you have at your layers option clicked on layer one and you select it and then you use the move tool and then with your keyboard um, preferably don't use your mouse use your keyboard you just press the up button so that it moves up by itself if you use your mouse you might go over the borders and do something else so you move it up until it just slightly touches the top and then it's fine it's settled now um, the next one we're gonna do is the bottom image not the middle one but the bottom one so let's want our last image to be this one over here we are going to uh, press ctrl A to select it ctrl C to copy it and um, we're going to click on our untitled box and press ctrl V right make sure you have layer 2 selected which is the layer um, of the image you just pasted again we're going to click on the select tool we're going to click outside this box highlight it and then it highlights only that one and we're going to click on the move tool and use the down arrow on the keyboard again to move it down until it just slightly touches there we go slightly touches and the third one is obvious so uh, it's gonna be it's gonna it should fit in perfectly there we're just gonna click on it highlight it control a control c click on our untitled image and just paste and you see it fits in perfectly there we go the last thing we need to do is just before we wrap it up is we combine all these layers so make sure that they're all ticked there all ticked you right click on it you say merge visible where the visible is the one that you have ticked I think there we go so now this is a one image and you can save this image by clicking on file save and then important here yeah, change the format to PNG which will make it transparent and have full quality you click on OK and it will ask you where to save it let's save it on the desktop uh, you can call it whatever you like um, Preferably save it in the folder um, where you want to keep it <clears throat> because if we change it now uh, you, if you if you cut this folder I mean if you cut this picture and put it in another folder after applying the effect using the classic shell it will disappear because it won't find it on the desktop anymore so keep it in a folder you want to keep it where, where you want to keep it right so it came out perfectly and we'll see if it works so we click on uh, classic shell, start menu settings, we go to this menu style, click on custom, pick the image, and we're going to navigate to our desktop, and then just select the image, and it should change. <clears throat> Let's click OK, let's hover, and there we go, it changes, it changes to the new one. Alright, I hope this video helps, and I hope uh, you can get this to work. And uh, once again, if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment and then I'll see if I can help.